What up, GG Nation? GG Legion. It's your fella again. Strassman the GG. And I know, I got some explaining to do. It's been a couple days since I was able to upload some vids. I was supposed to have this up for you for Halloween. Do apologize. I did record a vid, but did not like my work. I kind of messed up on it a little bit. Uh, so I'm a little bit further in, in Evil Within 2, so we're going to just start from there and get you a gameplay vid. I think I'm close to the end of Chapter 2, so let's continue from there. Let's check it out. Hope you guys enjoy. You guys have been showing a lot of love to the channel lately. I mean, the views have been through the roof. It's insane. We'll, we have, we've, if this keeps going, we'll probably hit 4,000 by the end of uh, next week. It's pretty insane. We'll see if it keeps going up like that. I don't know. It's just, it's been a huge amount of views lately. I just really appreciate it. Love it. You guys seem to love the reaction vids. I'll probably have a reaction vid right after this one as well because there is a new Overwatch character announced on BlizzCon. Forgot it was BlizzCon uh, this week. But let's get into Evil Within 2 here. Hope you guys are had a great, safe Halloween and everything like that. I know we're in November now. Hard to believe Thanksgiving's around the corner. Uh, Call of Duty just came out, you know. Everyone's playing that. Let's get into Evil Within 2 here, though. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. So excited to play. I love what I've played so far of this game. It's really, really good. Don't kill me. I know I need to finish the first game, but I really love the direction and the, the graphics and everything. I'm, I'm not a big graphics whore. Anyone that really knows me, not the biggest fan. I'd ra I rather have great storytelling. Don't care what the game looks like. And this has both, though. It has really great graphics, and so far the story is really amazing. And we're in this creepy-ass room. I uh, wish you guys could have saw how I got up there, but you need to play the game yourself. Go give this game a shot. That's the point of the channel is to get outside your comfort zone, try something a little bit different. Um... <laughs> Ooh. What the hell? That's what I'm thinking. Uh oh, SpaghettiOs. Oh! Oh! -ho -ho! Yeah, well, we ran into a corner. That's not the smartest thing. I'm so shocked she did not hit me there. Let's go down here. Woo! I don't even want to look at She's not as scary as the Blood Witch. She looks like Blood Witch 2.0. From the first game. We gotta hop over here. Woo! Get into the door. Get into the door, bro! We're getting out of here. <laughs> God damn it. What the hell is that thing? That's a nightmare, my friend. That is a nightmare. That's a <laughs> Wow. Chad, I gotta shout you out. You weren't lying when I stopped the other video. Chad was probably one of the few that saw my last video before I cut it. Because I just didn't like my work because you couldn't hear the gameplay at all. So I do apologize for not having this. But this was a perfect place to cut it last time. Wow. I hope you guys really enjoy that. Oh, shit. Guess we have to go this way. I love it. This is beautiful. This is, this video will be pretty exciting for you guys. Hope you know parental advisory warning. Hopefully you guys don't get too scared, or if you can't handle some grotesqueness, because this game has it, has a lot of it. Definitely don't play it. Oh, I don't hear it. Oh, 
This reminds me so much of the first opening in a lot of ways. Uh oh. Yeah, this totally reminds me of the first opening a lot. We totally should be dead. But we're not. different place now mind games telekinesis Kyle what the fuck is going on here I got an awesome new knife interesting so you get automatic health regeneration nice noise let's check out this room a little bit that was pretty cool. That was really cool. That scene is a little similar to the first game, I'll have to say, if you guys definitely play the first one. You know, it was on sale for fifteen bucks with season pass. It up it got up a little bit, I think it's like twenty bucks now. Um without the season pass. Go pick up the first one. And definitely pick this one up too. This one you could really tell this one was a built ground up for PS4 for sure, and it looks amazing. Just visually. I wonder if there's a pro patch. If you guys have a PS4 Pro and a, a you know, a 4K TV and everything, let me know if there's a pro patch for this. Because I know they just updated one for uh, Metal Gear, which is really cool. I'm going to open this. This game's the hotness, though. I, I mean... I've been wanting this for a long, a long time. You guys obviously knew I had to. You saw my unboxing of the fractured butthole. Amazon exclusive edition. Um, I had to pick that up. There, there is a Nintendo Direct also. I know, I know we're not playing a Nintendo game here. But there's a Nintendo Direct next Tuesday for Xenoblade Chronicles too. I have the special edition of that pre-ordered. So I'm definitely going to watch that, maybe do a reaction vid to it, or give you at least my thoughts on that, because I'm very hyped for that game. I, I've i been very, very bad of not playing Legend of Zelda, you know, lately, and I need to, but I think Xenoblade will get me out of that funk, because I played Horizon Zero Dawn at the same time as Zelda, and they're so similar uh, that I dedicated most of my time to finish Horizon, because to do that game justice, I knew I had to finish it. Oh crap, did I go? I just went around. I'm sorry. Too busy talking to the camera. So we're in some creepy ass. Home. Let's go outside here. Let's go check it out. So I was told that there is some bigger open ended areas in this game. Ooh, conveniently a gun there. Nice. Where were you when I needed you? <laughs> Evil Within, uh, the first one was very much Resident Evil 4 in a lot of ways. Pretty linear, not too many open areas. I heard this has changed a little bit, where the areas are much bigger. Oh, Love you too, Lily. We're gonna save you. We're gonna save you, girl. Sure as hell wasn't quite the little town. There's something bad happening in here, Kitchen. Baker is dead. And there's a killer. It never goes the right way. Doing things that are it's like beacon all over again. What the fuck did you just send me into? Ear mosquitoes. We're in the dark out here. Baker was the team leader. If he's dead, that doesn't bode well for the rest of them. Keep searching around. The more info you gather, the more I'll be able to help you. Yeah. Dude, they're all dead. There's no way they are alive. They are all freaking dead. Oh, nice. Nice. 
I could heal up. Should I heal up? Or should I... Or should I hang on to it? I think the game wants you to use it, but I don't want to use it. Yeah. We'll see. Let's go check it out. Ooh, let's open this car door. Ooh. Poor son of a bitch. Maybe not. Maybe. 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 Maybe we'll leave that alone. Ugh. But tell me your guys' thoughts in the comments below. Like, what do you guys think of Evil Within 1 and you guys enjoying the second one? And if this vid gets you into the second one, I hope it does. Because this game's incredible. It's it's awesome. It looks beautiful. Ooh. Hello? Hey! Hey, girl, don't run from me. Don't run from me, girl. Don't run from me, Jeffrey. I got your back, homie. Oh, you didn't lock the door. Hello? Yummy. Uh, yum. I said eight. Evil was in. Should we open it? This poor Sebastian man, this day just keeps getting worse for him. Supposed to go save his daughter. This is supposed to be a safe place with a highly organized team, and we got freaky zombie bitches around. Sorry kids, earmuffs. Very similar to the first game, when you actually do kill the zombies, they do give you some gel. But they were very hard. Yeah, I did. I learned that it really is like Beacon in here. The people in here are turning into creatures. I don't know. But it means that Lily is in more danger than just being lost. Save it, Kidman. Leave it to me. I'm gonna find her. So, refresher from the first game. Beacon was the mental hospital that you were sent since you were a detective. That's what you and Kidman were sent to go investigate. It ends up being a big mind F. A big mind cluster F of ugh. And this game picks off after you finish and you find out all the dark secrets that were kind of hidden from you, per se. And... They they kind of they kind of uh, I wouldn't say brainwash you, but they make you they guilt trip you to going to save your daughter again. Oh, you got to come here, you got to save your daughter. So they send you into this big world called STEM by using a machine called STEM, and it is just uh, a messed up place, a real messed up place, as you can see. So this video so far has been pretty entertaining for you guys. Kind of happy that it's worked out this way. <laughs> so I hope you guys are enjoying the vid so far.
And we'll go a little bit further in. I don't want to do too much more. Because I don't want this video to be a million uh, minutes long. I want you to have a good amount. Give you get a little taste of it. Probably we'll do a part two. This game is fantastic. And I cannot wait uh, to just play more. Okay. Got some gunpowder. Uh, just like the first game, I'm, there is crafting. You'll be able to build some stuff. I'm assuming this one will have a bigger expanded or just add on to it a little bit more. Not... Don't know 100% sure. Haven't you know? I, I'm very new to this, just like you guys who probably haven't played this game yet either. So let's check it out. Interesting physics there. All right, so let's get out of this shitty ass house, right? Action kick. So, as you can tell, this place isn't safe. Not for Lily. Not for anybody. It is a big, messed up place. Get some hand gong. Gunpowder. Nothing. Oh, you tell me I can't open these? Aw, oh, dude. Alright, cool. Ooh. Maybe we found a new ride? Nope, I'm just gonna climb on top of it. <laughs> Welcome to Union. We're glad you're here. My ass. That's right, Sebastian. The music has been on point as well. I love the sound and feeling. I wish I had my Astro 850s on. I know a lot of you guys ask, uh, ask me or think why I don't have my Astros on. And unfortunately with the gold PS4, is which, which I'm now using because the disk drive on my older one went, uh, I need to buy an adapter for the gold, for my gold PS4, for it to my Astros to work. So that's why you don't see me with my headphones on. Um, I do get a lot of questions about that. So there you go, filled you in on there. Looks like uh, a lot of bad things are around. So let's see if we can be sneaky. Let's see if we can distract them a little bit. Oh, it's some of the crew. Oh, that guy's gone. Maybe not. April? Oh, you're dead, dude. As you can see, these things are not normal zombies. They are, uh, jerks. Mobius members. Some of them are still alive, then. See what happens when you don't be super sneaky kiddos. I think that would be a good time to end the video. This, the video is not too long. Uh, not too short either. It's just the right in between. Right at the end of chapter 2. Hope you guys like it. I will probably do a part 2 um, of this. Because to show you a little bit more. I just wanted to sh this show you a little bit of more of Evil Within. Just kind of show you the open-ended open -ended areas. Stuff like that. Um, and I hope... You know, that, the ending, not the ending, but that, where I stopped from last time was the perfect segue into this bit. I hope you guys really enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what some of your favorite horror video games were. If you guys had a fun Halloween. I know we're a little bit late into November now. And let me, let me know if you want to see a part two. I definitely will give you a part two. I think I'm almost certain of that. Uh, so, 
I, a lot of love lately on the channel. Really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much. Your fella, Strauss Man, the GG. He's outie.